A year and a half later, Stalin eliminated another former comrade, Nikolai Bukharin, the prominent Marxist theorist whom Lenin once described as the favorite of the party. Stalin and Bukharin had worked together against Trotsky. And later against Zinoviev and Kamenev, here with Stalin on Red Square. The relationship with Stalin began to break down at the end of the 1920s, but Bukharin was given a reprieve for several more years. He was arrested in 1937. The trial of Nikolai Bukharin and 20 others began in March of 1938. As in the other show trials, the prosecution was led by Vyshinsky, who represented the state and Stalin. This trial, which shocked the world, was extensively filmed. Yet the accused, Bukharin, is nowhere to be seen in any of the pictures. In contrast, all of state prosecutor Vyshinsky's tirades have been recorded. Exactly one year ago, Comrade Stalin analyzed deficiencies in our work and arrived at the conclusion that the Trotskyite hypocrites must be liquidated. This direction he outlined in an article he wrote in which he stated two words on the deviants, saboteurs, spies and others. Trotskyites and Bukharinites, your honor, this whole right-wing Trotskyite bloc whose leadership is now in the dock is not a political party. It is not a political movement. This bloc has no ideological content, nothing intellectual, as was the case with earlier members of this clique. Now it has sunk into the fetid ground of underground spies. This is a fifth column, a Ku Klux Klan which has opened the door to the enemy who is a sniper from a secret perch who wants to help invading enemies conquer our villages and cities who wants to contribute to the defeat of their own country it is clear that these so-called masters must be mercilessly crushed and destroyed some of the accused, as you remember, especially Bukharin, did not even make an attempt to put a good face on a bad situation. Bukharin likes it, how should I put this, to describe himself as a theorist, a Marxist, in fact, an orthodox Marxist. Bukharin shamelessly lied back in 1918 when he broke with left-wing communists. Bukharin is also telling now lies before the court. Bukharin knew of the plan to arrest Lenin, Stalin and Svetlov. And who knew of such a plan would also have carried it out. Who is prepared to use force is also prepared to commit murder. The plot has been uncovered. The mask of treason has been torn from their faces, now and forever. Let the verdict be heard like thunder, like a fresh purifying thunderstorm of Soviet justice. Our entire country, no matter whether young or old, demand only one thing, that the traitors and spies who wanted to sell out the homeland should be shot like rabid dogs. The masses demand only one thing, to stamp out this accursed vermin. For the 150 million people of our great socialist homeland and want to express our deep thanks to Nikolai Ivanovich Yetsov, the People's Commissar for Internal Affairs and the best comrade of our Yosef Vysanovich Stalin. He was able to uncover and bring to trial a whole band of murderers and provocateurs from the rightist Trotskyite Bukharin groups as well as from a German group and other fascists. 
из группы немецких и других фашистских разведок, ведущих нас от победы к победе, не позволим отдать наших завоеваний. Пекарин knows the verdict before it is read by the judge Ulrich. In his closing statement, he expresses his loyalty to the party. He tells them, Comrades, when you carry the banner of communism onward to victory, you'll know that a bit of my blood will be on it. The verdict. It has been proven that in the year 1918, Bukharin and a group of left-wing communists, along with Trotsky and left-wing socialist revolutionaries, organized a plot against the Soviet government with the goal of breaking the Brest Peace Treaty, to arrest and kill Lenin, Stalin and Sverdlov, and to establish a new government. Bukharin, Nikolai Ivanovich, Rikov, Alexei Ivanovich, Yagura, Heinrich Grigoryevich are sentenced to the highest punishment to be executed by firing squad, their entire property to be confiscated. <laughs> <laughs>